vultures live off the scraps left behind by predators, which, if you think about it, kind of makes them like the crime scene cleanup crew of the animal world. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. Vultures are scavenging birds that can be separated into two families, Old World vultures and New World vultures. New World vultures can be found in North and South America, while Old World vultures can be found in Europe, Africa, and Asia. The similarities between the two groups of vultures are due to convergent evolution. Though they're not closely related, they independently evolved similar traits to adapt to their environments. New World vultures are unique because they have a highly evolved sense of smell, which they use to locate their rotting dinners. Their beaks are relatively weak compared to those of other birds of prey. This is because it's adapted to tear the weak flesh of partially rotted carrion rather than fresh meat. They're generally pretty large and have bald heads. Old world vultures are not closely related to new world vultures and do not share their keen sense of smell. Instead, they rely on their eyesight to track down dinner. A group of vultures is known as a venue, a wake, a kettle, a committee, or a vault. The term wake refers to a group of vultures that are feeding, while kettle refers to vultures in flight. A committee, vault, or venue, on the other hand, refers to vultures resting in trees. A defining characteristic of many vultures is their bald head. Although it is widely believed that they evolved their bald domes to keep their heads clean when feeding, it may also help in regulating body temperature. Vultures tuck their heads into their feathery bodies when it's cold out and stretch out their necks when it's too hot. Vultures rarely attack healthy animals, but they have been observed killing the sick and wounded. If a hide is too thick for its weaker beak to break through, it'll wait for larger scavengers to do all the dirty work before swooping in to clean up the leftovers. They have incredibly corrosive stomach acid, which helps them digest the rotting meat without making them sick. Bacteria that would be lethal to other scavengers, like the botulinum toxin, hog cholera bacteria, and anthrax bacteria, does not affect vultures, making them very efficient scavengers. They can eat the scraps that would otherwise go to waste. The magnificent bearded vulture, also known as the Lammergeier or Ossifrage, has evolved a slightly different diet from his cousins. The bearded vulture is the only known animal whose diet is almost exclusively bone. Bones that are too big to swallow or too tough to break are often dropped from heights of up to 500 feet onto the rocks below. Once consumed, their stomach acid can digest a large bone in under 24 hours. One of their main forms of defense is, well, vomit. New World vultures will often empty their stomach load to make takeoff easier when threatened by an attacker. The putrid, vomited meal may also distract the predator, giving the bird more time to escape. They also use their vomit as a foul-smelling predator repellent around their nesting site. And if you thought that was gross, wait until you hear about their urine-soaked legs. Vultures urinate down their legs as a cooling mechanism, commonly referred to as urohydrosis. As the urine evaporates, it cools the bird, just like sweating in humans. The uric acid has an added benefit, killing the bacteria that has accumulated from walking through old carcasses. Vulture populations in South Asia have declined dramatically in the past 20 years due to the remnants of a veterinary drug found in carcasses called diclofenac. With less vultures around to pick corpses clean, the spread of rabies by wild dogs and rats has skyrocketed in the region. So you can see, vultures have an important place in the food chain. By picking carcasses clean, they're preventing the spread of harmful toxins and bacteria. So what animals should I check out next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to Animal Logic for new episodes every other week. Thanks for watching.